But hey guys, we're doing another hyper engineering soft start video, this time on a Goodman two ton AC slash heat pump. But I do have it set on AC amps and max setting. So when this kicks on, we should be able to grab the max amps. What the nameplate has there for the lock rotor is 58.3. Can see it right there 58.3 so what we're gonna do is wait for this to come on and record it and then we'll go ahead and do is install the soft starter <clears throat> and then test it again had great success with a previous install of the hype and engineering a soft starter on a I think it was a three ton unit it was a York three-ton unit and uh, really took the amperage down on startup so I actually got this diagram from hyper engineering they modified it a little bit for a four wire that said it was electrically equivalent so it just kicked on <clears throat> and it came up at 39.2 so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to try to find another meter just to make sure this one's accurate. I want to say I did this when I first looked at this air conditioner. I did it and I thought it was somewhere in the 40 range. So I just want to keep the amp meters uh, honest with each other. So I'll probably go grab another amp meter, hook it up, and then test it on that one before we go ahead and uh, put the soft starter in. But anyway, the soft starter, they, they really simplified the installation. Uh, as I said, they said it was electrically equivalent to a five wire start. But if you take a look here um, at how they did this, in my opinion, you should do this more because the, uh, the installation is way easier um, to follow than doing a five wire. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to go grab another meter, hook it up. And when this cycles again, come back, we'll look at that meter and see what it said. But that one said 39.2. So almost 40 amps on startup. Okay. Everything's set up. Just waiting for the AC to come back on. Alright, so just kicked on. You can see this one says 46 on the max, and the running on this is 5.7. Now remember the resolution because I have it set for 600, slightly different. So let's change the resolution. You're going to see the running amps is about the same. Okay, so I think we have our two measurements with our two meters. So I think the uh, numbers will be relative to both meters when we switch this out. So. The next step is, is uh, we're going to go ahead and install the, the soft starter and then remeasure. Okay, so what we did here was actually really simple according to this four wire hookup. So all we really did, and we'll, we'll explain the easier ones first. So the fourth one, which is common, which is the bottom one that's black, that literally goes to if you can see right there, it says number four on the uh, T1. So that was an easy one. Um, the start winding number three, which is the blue wire, that one was easy. That goes to the, um, the run capacitor along with where the yellow wire is on the Herm connection. So that was really easy. And then all I really did was where it says one and two there, I just cut the um, run winding from the compressor, literally cut it in half, and I ran um, one up to the run winding and then one up to the active terminal so where it connects here on the t2 if you see there's a number two there that number two goes to active and so it goes from the contactor right into the third spot there which is active it's hard to see but it's there and then the first wire um, over here actually goes into the compressor motor from the run winding so and you can see number one 
And if you follow that down, it goes to the compressor motor run uh, winding. So what I did now is I um, mounted it and I got both meters hooked up, ready to go. And when I plug this knife switch in, it's gonna come on and then we'll be able to look and see how much it reduces. Now they do recommend starting and stopping it five times. So what I'll do is just, because it's such a hot day, I'll put it in, run it, and then I'll just check it probably in about an hour because I'm sure it'll cycle five times through. And then, so we'll get our first reading and then we'll probably get our last reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the knife blade in now. And then we'll get a recording here. Okay, so you can see right there, on one meter it's down to 12. The other doesn't appear to have grabbed, fully grabbed it. So um, I do believe the black meter probably is a little more accurate in picking up the inrush. So, so we went from 40 down to 12, which is very impressive. And uh, so if you take 12 and you times that by 240, or if you take 12 and you times it by 10, that's 120. So you can kind of see, you times that by 2, 240, you can kind of see that we greatly reduce the incoming uh, amount of watts that we need on a generator to start this thing up. So again, that's start one of five. And maybe it'll get better, maybe I get that down to 10 or something, who knows. But absolutely incredible, though, how much it reduced that. So. But this meter here is just not fast enough, in my opinion, or it got tripped up in how this thing ramps up. Um, so this one here looks far more accurate at 12. Anyway, we'll come back. Okay. So I'm not sure what number test this is, but let's see. You can see we're down to 11.3, which is even better. So again, that might be only like two cycles since, so we'll check it again in a little bit, see what we get down to.